Welcome back everybody to Ace Simulations channel and today we're going to be walking through how to use VATSIM. Except this time we're not just going to be doing Unicom. This time we're going to be doing full ATC. I'll come back to the instructor station here. I can get all my weather data here so we can see that there's weather. I can get frequencies. So in this case I can see uh, approach is going to be online. I can get uh, some quick information like frequency, how long they've been online. Um, and then if we go into the airport here, you can actually look at that. We can see that it's being controlled right now. We have ATIS, tower, and approach, uh, and ground. So all of those are going to be online right now, which is super cool. Um, I can also go into the flight here, and I'll be able to see my altitude heading. And then once I start flying, of course, all the other bits will fill in there. Um, so it's super cool. But main point is I can come back here, write down the frequencies, and kind of get a rough idea of what my flight path is going to be. I can do all my flight planning. So if I want to say fly to this airport, I can do all that here. For today's video, though, we're just going to do a quick pattern here. We'll do ATIS, ground, tower, do a pattern, and then come in and land. Um, normally, we would do a full point A to point B, but it's not super amazing weather here, as you can see. Um, so we're just going to do a quick pattern, and hopefully it goes well. Okay, so prior to departing, I'm going to write down my frequencies. So I'm using here my uh, ATC shorthand. It's available at asimulations.com, completely free, uh, and I'll have a link to that below. This is an old version, so it's not quite accurate. The newer one's much, much, much better. I like it a lot, but this one will function. So since we have ATIS, we're going to write down the ATIS frequency. I have VATSIM over here, so I'm just going to scroll down, and we can see Kilo Sierra Delta Foxtrot ATIS is going to be 118.725. Uh, we don't have clearance delivery, but we don't need that because we're just going to do a simple pattern. Tower is going to be 124.2. Approach is going to be 132.325. And that's all we're going to need. We don't need center either. Um, and if they, we need it, they'll hand us off. for VFR pattern work. Louisville Tower, Cessna November 2 and 12 with Charlie, looking for a taxi, VFR pattern work. Here we have information golf. Via Echo for 12 Charlie. 
So there he gave me my taxi instructions, so the runway I'm going to, and then the taxiway I'm going to take. So in this case, I'm going to runway 17 left, which is super close, and I'm just going to take an echo. So I'll take a left, go out this way, take a right onto echo, and then I'll just go all the way down to 17 left. Brakes. We can release our parking brake. I'm going to turn on the taxi light. Give ourselves a little bit of throttle. And we're going to turn left here. We're going to get clear of this guy here, and we're going to come around. going to text away echo and so now I can see myself moving on here and go right through here and that's text away echo right up there all right so before takeoff checklist parking brake is set seats are secure cabin doors are going to be locked flight controls free and correct are set flaps are going to go 10 degrees I'm going to turn on the strobe light and now we're ready to go. So now we're going to contact, uh, so we're still on tower, so we're going to basically give our call. We're ready to tick depart. So in this case, I would say Louisville Tower, November 2 and 12th, Charlie, ready to depart VFR pattern work. And then he'll give me whatever my pattern work instruction will be. Louisville traffic says November 2 and 12th, Charlie, holding short one at 17 left, ready for departure, VFR pattern work. And, and a lot of this might seem daunting, it's just going to take a lot of practice. So takeoff checklist, flaps are going to be set, throttle, we'll do that in just a second, and our trim is also set. So parking brake, we're going to release the parking brake. That's the throttle. And you can see I've also changed the weather, so it's a little bit nicer out now. And these weather presets, I'll have a link to the add-on I'm using in the description. It's, I, mean, I like them a lot. Very bright.
base. My line is still on, and I go 10 degrees flaps. Slowing to about 70. There's 70, and then I pitch for 70. Keep the turn coming. So now uh, we can see, you know, we parked literally right back where we were before. And then we'll go into our instructor station for a last debrief. Okay, so now we're in the instructor station after our flight, and we can see here that we flew a pretty good pattern. Um, looks like I overcompensated for the wind just a little bit too much, and we got a little bit closer, but we had a good turn to crosswind, good turn to base, and in our landing we can see was almost perfect, 94 knots, that's right about where you want to be. And then uh, 94 feet per minute, so it was a little bit hard, um, but then again it was a crosswind landing, so not my best landing. Here we can go to the flight time, so it was a 12 minute flight, 9 nautical miles, we burned 7 uh, pounds of fuel, and uh, we can see a little bit more, so okay, 94 feet per minute was the landing, and then at 54 knots, and we can also see our altitude map here, so all of our altitude and we can see our AGL, everything like that. Um, and then if you wanted to, afterwards you can write kind of like what you did in the notes section. And then of course here you can see what we actually did, which was uh, basically just a pattern and it shows up here. So this is Orbix Volanta, by the way. I really, really like the software. It's excellent. 
Alrighty, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have further questions, leave them below and I'll make sure I answer them. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it, consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps me a lot. Uh, if you want more Ace Simulations content, I have a Patreon. Link to that's in the description. Also, this amazing simulator that I flew, you can build your own at asimulations.com where I have uh, DIY build plans available. Um, of course, all of the stuff that I used in this video, I'll have in the description. So Flight Plan Go, the software, Volanta, and then also my ATC shorthand. Um, all of that's going to be in the description, so you can use it too. Uh, in the future, I'll be doing some more videos on VATSIM. This was just kind of a basic explanation. Um, as I fly more, I'll give more tips, and hopefully the next ATC flight will be a point A to point B, um, maybe in a little bit more of an advanced aircraft. But then again, it's a Cessna 172, so that's mostly what I fly. Uh, if you have comments or things you want to see, uh, leave those below too, and I'll, uh, I take all the feedback and I appreciate it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you.